Hey guys, we're over here at Matt's shop today. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of work on a couple of old trucks, but before we do, we've got to drain a fuel tank in the back of. Say hi, Matthew. Hi. Uh, try and clean out this fuel tank. And then we're gonna take this over here and push that old truck over so that we can take the axles off of it. So, here we go. There you go. Now we're draining some fuel. Why don't you explain to the folks back home what we're looking at? So, we're trying to make a, we're wanting to make an off-road vehicle. So we have a three-quarter ton 03-ish Ford. We're going to steal the Sterling rear end out of it and the Dana 60 out of it. The Dana 60 is a high pinion. And that's one of your better type rear ends or front ends to put under a to put under a, a, a mud truck or a rock crawler because the pinion is is higher uh with the level of the axle shaft So, I guess so we, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take these out and get them ready to stuff under a truck. See what we can do.
There you go. I'll be able to make something out of that. You got axial. And so, or, yeah. <laughs> before, before I was able to make a deal on the dead side, but I really didn't even know the guy was willing to sell them. We had planned to make a a rock crawler out of multiple trucks, but the one we were going to use for the body was a Nissan hard line. So we had started a video, collected parts off of a off of a uh, a F two fifty and. We got the axles off the F-250. We took an engine out of a 89 Bronco. And I have old junk hard body in the back that was not being used for anything. So we decided to make a rock crawler out of it. But then I got a chance to buy four dead sides. And if you know, a dead side is a is a, a older, a pre '80s Ford truck. So I got a chance to buy four of them, and I bought them. So moving forward, if we build a rock crawler, we're going to build one out of a out of a dead side. <clears throat> just because it's what we'd rather have. And so this video is us harvesting parts off of, off of the, the F-250 out there. Um, and it's, you know, cool video, seeing Matt snatch the, uh, roll the truck over with the, with the mini hoe and, uh, and pull the axles out of it. We just decided to use those parts for other things. Yeah. Um, we, we think there's better uses for other parts. So. Which you might see the Nissan come back in uh, in another video for something else. You know. Yeah. It's you know we got it this year. So we'll keep you posted. Yeah. All right. Uh, Eighty nine Bronco. Five point eight liter Ford. C six transmission. I think it's a Borg Warner transfer case. I'm not positive, but but it's all there. So we're gonna rip this out and take the fuel injection off, carburate it, and go from there. Have you decided what kind of carburetor you wanna run? Oh, I'm sure it'll probably be a, a Elder Brock to start with eventually put a highly sniper fuel injection system on it but, yeah but that takes money yeah so we'll carburate it for the time being and if i can find a good roller block we'll take this engine back out i'll buy decent heads for the roller block We'll put a, a decent roller cam in it, aluminum heads. And if we get to that point, I'll probably opt for the fuel injection system. As for right now, we're basically going to leave it stock. I'll swap over the intake so the carburetor fit on it and put a 600 CFM carburetor on it and we'll see what she does. I know this is a good motor. I've spun it over. I knew the old guy that had it. Everything's supposed to be good on it. Transmission will probably end up having to be rebuilt just because it sat for so long, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right. Well, we will keep you guys posted as we move further along with this project. Thanks for watching.